as if she has not been telling us the story about this man for years. So of course this video trips us all up because you said that you would move to Houston for your spiritual journey. Since how did you end up moving to Houston for a man that kept choosing his ex over you? you so I was like just casually scrolling on my YouTube then obviously I see this video that says, let me tell you. And you know it's your sis, that biblical bay jelly bee I am mate. Yeah, I'm in bed, but let's talk. Right, so I'm not even into the gossiping thing, but I, I literally scroll, scrolled because I'm ready to hear a sermon before I hit the sack tonight, right? Then I see influencer Talifa Jane trolled for moving states for a man. So I'm like, I don't want to be gossipy. I'm not really into all of that anymore. But let me just listen, right? Yes, I know the mirror's dusty, but I grease my hair, so that's why it looks like that there, so. Mm. But I just want to drop a little wisdom, my little two pence on this. Listen, if you ever find yourself saying, God says this, God told me this, you know, and I've done it before, the Lord told me this, God showed me this in a dream. I want to remind you that you don't know. You don't know his thoughts because his thoughts are above yours. And I am doing this with my, my hands. You see the gun fingers? His, hand, his thoughts are above yours and mine. We don't think like him. So save yourself the embarrassment and tech God says offer that, yeah? You will be held accountable for it regardless of what it is. It doesn't matter. If you're not sure, don't say God said. It's just as simple as that. Let me tell you a little something from my own experience. I was led. That's the best way to say it. I was led by my spirit. Something in my spirit that I believe was the Holy Spirit told me, take up your things, get on a plane. You need to learn some things. So I arrived in this sunny isle named Jamaica, the land of the bestest people in the world. If you're Jamaican, you better bust a like and put a flag right there. I don't care if you weren't born there, if you're British, but you know, Jamaicans were just too hot, too sexy. Mm. Oh, babe. Anyway, sorry, that was really inappropriate of me. I think I need to go to bed. But let's get back to what I'm talking about. Yeah, so I was led to go to somebody com somewhere completely different to overseas to learn something that I was not yet a wife that I wanted to get married but I would have been that type of wife that that westerner wife full of expectations but <clears throat> I don't even want to I don't I can't wash I can't wash clothes if my washing machine don't work I can't really cook from scratch because I got all the money I need to go and eat out at Wagamama's every day if I really wanted to I love uh, shopping. I could buy a couple of designer bags, but could I make one with these two hands? I don't know. I had to take up my things and go to learn my own inadequacies. Not because, oh, you know, there's a man out there that's looking for you. You shouldn't even be looking at man. And some people, you need to hear this right now. What can you do that you would actually take up yourself? And I'm not even speaking to this girl because there's lots of women out there that would think like this. Oh, you know, I think I'm supposed to go and meet this man because, you know, we've been talking and he's all the way over there and I just think it's time for us to finally meet him. Once we're together, everything will be okay. What can you do? Are you even a wife? What does it mean to be your wife? And, you know, I asked my son this question the other day that does he feel embarrassed at the fact that I post things on the internet because I never want to embarrass him, obviously. I don't want him to ever feel some type of way about it. So he's like, no, actually, um, if they was to say anything about you, they, I know they're just jealous because they want as many, I can't remember, followers or something because this is what this generation is kind of, they care a lot about followers, likes, blah de blah blee de blee So I realised that we're going to have, or we have a growing generation of influencers, of people that like to sit down and you know, free up their whole life on the internet. And God told me this. I can't do an American accent and I know it's really offensive, but I don't really care. It just sounds like that to me. Like this whining in my ears because God told me that he didn't. Okay, it was your hormones. Maybe it's that time of the month where you really want a child soon and you're just trying to speed up the process as quickly as possible. Maybe you got a few new outfits and you're hoping to take some photos on your journey. You know, that video as you open up the blind on the, 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 the airplane just so everyone can know that you're on a trip. Maybe you just wanted to go get your hair, your nails, your lashes done. You know, feel good, feel good about yourself and post so you could get some validation. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but 
if you find yourself telling uh, yourself that God says that you're supposed to move for a man, you don't read your Bible. And this is why I'm coming to you like this. You don't read your Bible. The Bible says in Genesis 2 verse 24, therefore... You know when they do that? I can't do it. I don't know. All right, let me calm down. It says, therefore, a man shall leave a man. Should I say it again a little bit louder for those who are taking flights in the background? A man will leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife. They shall become one flesh. Did it say the wife shall cleave unto her husband? I didn't read that, did you? And if you did, maybe you need to check the version that you're reading. A man shall leave his mother and father and cleave until unto his wife. You're out of order if you find yourself, oh, I need to leave for this man. Did he ask you to? Has he got a place for you over there? Did he pay for that ticket? Is there a ring on your finger? Tell me. Did he pay the dowry price for you to come over there? Or are you taking up your own money to take on, uh, uh, get yourself on a flight to go over there? God didn't tell you to do that. He didn't. He doesn't go against his word. You gotta be very careful when I was saying this the other day about what you put on the internet, you know. I might be sitting here in my PJs. I'm talking wisdom, I'm talking sense, I'm talking scriptures. No, God told me to leave here for a man. He's not gonna do that. If the man ain't Jesus Christ, he's not. He tells his son, that's your wife right there, just like he did to Adam, present you in front of him. And the man will decide, do I want you or do I want my ex? Because that's what he did in this occasion. But yeah, like, I know if I was your big sister, you probably wouldn't really like me. I'll be that sister that tells you, go and put on some more clothes because you look like a drag queen. Take off the makeup too. Don't go out like that. And you'll think, oh, she's so rude. She's so judgmental. I don't care as long as you take off that foolishness that you're wearing. Put on some better clothes and don't leave the house like this. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, I have to just leave that there. No, this is the last thing I want to say. Any sisters that find yourself, oh... I think this is the, the guy for me. I think this is the man. I think this is my man. You know, I think this is the one that the Lord told me is for me. First pray this, yeah? Say, Lord, if this man is not for me, cause him to reject me. Cause him to reject me. Make him leave me. Make him go as far as possible and not speak to me again because I want to be in your will. If he is not for me, let him reject me quickly, Lord, that I will not have to suffer a hard heartbreak. Let him reject me quickly, please, Lord. Now, if you really want to be in the Lord's will, you will pray that, okay? Anytime you meet someone that's presenting themselves as something to you, say, pray that. Lord, is this a the friend that you have actually desired for my life if not cause them to reject me cause them to go and leave any ties that have caused this person to, to be attracted to me spiritually speaking i sever them anything that is not of you lord so if they are not supposed to be in my life they are not your perfect will for my life please let them leave me and you do these kind of prayers while you're sweet talking on the phone. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm not going to lie. I do want to see you. Like, I really like your company. But i got to go sleep now, yeah? I'm just going to say my prayers and go sleep. Yeah, you know that I do like you, but let's just, let's take it slow, okay? You know me. I'm that biblical babe. I'm not even trying to jump into anything too quick. You come off the phone and then you pray to your heavenly father. Father, I don't know if this is your son, but if he is, Lord, he's got this sweet mouth and I know that serpent, that dirty dark Satan had a sweet mouth too. So please reveal who is this man that I'm talking to. Because he sounds too sweet and too nice. Those are the kind of prayers you need to be praying before you go to bed. Okay? Like I said, I'm just your sister. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the thing that your friend is not going to tell you. Or your fan who's not going to tell you in your comments. I don't care about having fans or people liking me. I'm going to tell the truth. That one day, if you ever want to take up with my son, as a little lady out there, if you don't have this wisdom, you could never chat to him. And it's not like I'm going to speak to him and tell him not to. He's got this wisdom that's right here that he could come back on and recognise. Are you a woman of God? Or are you just one of these girls who want to be influencers? But anyway, I've done a lot of talking. So, yeah. I just want to put that to you, sisters. Any woman out there that wants to really see, is this man for me? Pray those prayers and be open to the fact that the Lord will reveal whether that is his perfect will or not by that man <clears throat> either going and that door closing, him saying things that sound like he's rejecting you and you will get a check in your spirit. I've been there. I've done that. So let me just... Well, you can't wear my t-shirt because this is my t-shirt, but um, yeah, I'm just passing on the wisdom to you. Anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Shalom.